It's Friday morning, 7 a.m. Just out the front of Heritage Park here. So it's been a hot minute since the Lismore update with all the other happenings going on this week, but there is plenty to touch on. So kicking things off, our member for Lismore, Janelle Saffin, was at the Parliament of New South Wales in Sydney this week, who was fighting to make uh, accessing these grants for locals and businesses a much easier process. People who have already lost everything and are dealing with the, the high stress and trauma of the situation are being asked for all kinds of paperwork and documents which a lot of it was lost in the floods they're having to jump through hoops when they're already at the end of their tether they're copping the whole i'm sorry there's nothing we can do spiel so janelle lightning hand saffin noted that the application process is bloody shot the people are still in a war zone. The government needs to change these processes. All right, just had to seek some cover while it started raining. But Janelle also pushed for government officials to be here on the ground that people can actually talk to. Not to mention, Janelle is separately lobbying for new affordable housing projects due to the fact we already had a housing crisis before the floods. So this proposed project will look at building 66 new affordable and flood free housing units with one location in East Lismore and the other one up top in Ganelaba. This could potentially be the first big project the Northern Rivers Reconstruction Corporation sets their eyes on when they kick off on July 1st. Yeah, happy Friday bro. It was also announced this week that the Lantern Parade is on that's going to be the 25th of June on the Saturday. So pencil that one into your schedule. Another fantastic event that brings many to Lismore. Let's light some shit up. And in more great news this week, another key player here in Lismore announced that they're coming back. Who's that? The Piggy Bank, along with its big brother cafe, The Bank. So this should be all happening in the next few weeks to a month. Follow them on their socials to keep updated. The Keen Street footpath here in the CBD is about to get a beautified makeover. The upgrade will be focusing on the inner CBD area here between the streets of Woodlark and Magellan to help revitalize the CBD and make it a little bit sexier. And this project will take about 12 weeks, give or take, to get the first chunk done. And it's gonna be some of that trendy exposed aggregate concrete. Ooh la la. Legends are getting into it here. Also some bummer news this week, Skimo's takeaway shop here will be closing its doors after 70 years of operating. Apparently due to the circumstances, it was only a matter of time. And this is now going to be turned into a 7-Eleven. It just sucks that a, a corner shop and small business like this is going to be turned into another chain store. Nonetheless, it's still going to bring uh, some jobs to town. I believe it's gonna be ready to rock by the end of next year. And today here, over at the South Lismore train station car park, there's going to be a mobile recovery point organized by the Lismore City Council and Resilience New South Wales. This will start at 10 a.m. until three. And this is a great opportunity for those flood affected to talk face to face about what supports are available for you. There's going to be a barbecue down here as well. so. Ask some questions while you're munging in on your sausage sanger. I also just wanted to give a massive shout out to the Northern River Salvos who have been on the ground in flood affected areas with the community. These legends have been providing financial assistance and support for those who are affected. Their outreach locations are updated weekly and you can find that information on their social media, which I'll put below. And don't forget, last day of pre-polling and tomorrow, the big day of voting. Let's make a change. All right, that's the updates for today. TGIF, rip into the weekend, enjoy yourselves and keep it real.